Hi seniors, I hope we led by example and now it's your turn to go out and change the world in a positive manner. Send in all my love to the class of 2020. See ya. Congratulations class of 2020. You were my first set of freshmen. Thanks for muddling through with me. Raytheon and Pierre, don't forget to come back in four years for your picture. Congratulations to the class of 2020 graduating from the historic East High School. Congratulations, East High School class of 2021 for Ms. Saunders. Congratulations, East High School class of 2020. Good luck out there. Class of 2020, congratulations. Good luck in the future. Have a good summer. Class of 2020, here's to you. Congratulations, class of 2020. Welcome to the Alumni Club. Go Tigers. Congratulations to East High School 2020 seniors. Hey, woohoo, you did it. Special shout out to my seventh period last year. You guys were amazing. I hope to see all you guys in the future. I love you. Bye. Congratulations, East High School class of 2020. I am so proud of you. I love each and every one of you. I wish you all the best. Good luck. Blessings. Um, I'm so sorry that you didn't get the traditional experiences, but I know that this will make you more resilient um, later in life. So best of luck. Come back and visit. Love you all. Bye. Congratulations to the 2020 graduates of East High School. May your future be bright. Hi, everybody. Congratulations, class of 2020, on this big moment of accomplishment. Both Deborah and I hope you are well and safe and savoring this day because you all earned it. Now, it is a little bit different than what you may have had in mind when you began senior year with so much excitement, so much promise. As we all know, this world has changed a lot. In fact, we both ha have to admit that it wasn't easy trying to figure out what to say at this moment in time as we commemorate this special time. A few weeks ago, we would have been talking about the pandemic, urging you to hold on and to begin moving on through this difficult time. Well, now the world is shifting even more, exposing deep and painful fissures around us, around the issues of race and injustice. You were always going to be stepping out into a complex world, no doubt about that, but now you're also stepping into a world that is hurting. And if you are frustrated or maybe even a little anxious, that's understandable. Life is complicated and that's the final big lesson that you're going to have to take away with you as you graduate. But we want you to pause and think differently about your circumstances. Yes, this is an unusual graduation. Yes, things are a bit unsettling. And yes, it's going to take big changes and big ideas. And that's where you all come in. You are a graduating class that will go down in history. Some might even say you're a chosen group of graduates. Now, I know you're rolling your eyes and I've got teenagers. I've seen some eye rolls. Uh, but think for just a few seconds. All 2,500 of you have an opportunity to step up not just to get your diplomas, but to show the world what it means to pivot in the face of difficulty, to create meaning and success in any situation, whether it's a pandemic or a change in, in our racial uh, evaluations, how we see people, how people see us, when the things you are expecting to do don't go the way you expected it to. Now, most of you have had supportive family or friends in your corner to get you this far. There have been days, I am sure, where you felt like you just didn't have it in you. You didn't want to give 100%. Someone probably nudged you along, and if you, they were like my parents, they probably threatened you to get you to get your act together or else. Well, someone cared enough about you to get you through, to make sure that you did that last project, passed that test, won that football game, Somebody helped you get here and to succeed, got you over the hump, made sure you didn't fail. Well, now it's on you. It's up to you to get past these obstacles, these moments of concern, and of course, some disappointment. Okay, so we know that this year ended 
in unexpected ways, and we still don't even know how it's going to end. You didn't get to go to prom. You didn't have those final basketball games. You didn't get to pull those final senior pranks on the teachers you weren't so crazy about. And you're not getting that strut across the stage right now to grab that diploma and hear your families carry on way too loud. Uh, no one can blame you for feeling bummed, class of 2020. No pomp today. That is your circumstance. But now it is up to you to decide what to do with this moment, how to take these struggles and make this a better world. When I was growing up in small town Georgia, post-segregated Georgia, um, I too had my world rattled in a really big way. All those civil rights marches and struggles had led to a monumental Supreme Court decision, Brown versus the Board of Education, which later threw open the schools to integration. Now, after attending an all-black school for most of my life, for the first four years of my life anyway, I was now stepping into a new and kind of bewildering world. Um, yeah, it was kind of bewildering to some of my classmates and their parents. Some of them might have been even disappointed with this new and unsettling time. How are we going to cope with this unknown, some of them might have asked. Um, some no doubt wanted to know what this is going to mean for the future. It was a new time. It required a different way of thinking. Well, now, this was no pandemic at that time. There was some social distance, I have to say, and there was great fear in stepping out into the new world. But like so many of my classmates, I decided that this was a moment to change the equation, to find ways to excel, to be stronger than those who were fearful, to reach deep down and to find my greatness. And in fact, given what is going on right now with all the protests, with a, a resurgence of civil rights, and a lot of young people like you leading the way, class of 2020, this is your moment, your chance to take what history is handing to you and to find your greatness. Some of you are, are celebrating extraordinary success, scholarships, acceptance to elite colleges, even the honor of introducing a former president of the United States during an online talk. Some of you are the first in your families to finish high school and to take steps toward a more promising life. Some of you may even help find a cure for this virus or emerge as leaders in our country, helping us find a new way. And we desperately need new creative leaders. We are so very proud of you, along with Superintendent Talisa Dixon. You are our future, our hope of getting past these difficult times and on to something better. Okay, yes, we may be wearing masks for a little while and maybe doing elbow bumps for a little bit longer until we get there, but we will get to a better place because of you. So as former First Lady Michelle Obama suggested, do a little dance today. Celebrate yourselves. Don't do that dance, please. But celebrate yourselves because you have earned this moment and nothing, nothing can take that away from you. So as you step out into this big, complicated, unpredictable world of ours, well, I like to do predictions, but that's a whole other story. I urge you to step boldly. Do it like you mean it. Make your decisions count. Someone once said, every decision that we make leads us down a different road. We'll never come to exactly the same crossroads. Every decision that we make has significance. The tiniest choice that we make reverberates throughout the entire universe. So today, class of 2020, accept your moment in history. They're going to be talking about you for a long time. You are the class that stepped back out into the light after some dark days. You are the class that is going to change the way we go forward. As the great Maya Angelou says, up from the past that's rooted in pain, I rise. So class of 2020, you rise. Give yourselves a personal hug. Give your classmates a virtual fist bump. Give your folks your deepest gratitude and celebrate yourselves wherever you are right now. This is your moment of achievement and nothing can take that away. Congratulations, Congratulations class of 2020. Good evening, everyone. My name is Charles Richardson, and I am the proud principal of East High School. On behalf of the graduates and the faculty, it is an honor, a privilege, and a blessing to welcome our parents, grandparents, family, alumni, friends to the 2020 commencement ceremony of Columbus East High School. 
We are here to honor the students who successfully navigated through, through their required academics during this unprecedented pandemic that touched every state, university, and high school. Our students persevered and continue to work hard to achieve their ultimate high school goal. Parents, thank you for giving us the honor of working with your child at Columbus East High School. And thank you even more for entrusting us to, with their education. The 2020 graduating class has many success stories. Today, scholarships totaling for this graduating class of 2020 is over $2,600,000 at this time, and it is still growing. Graduates of Columbus East High School and their families, we are extremely proud of you and your accomplishments. Seniors, it is my honor to address the class of 2020 and congratulate each of you on your graduation. Though you're not together with your classmates in the same place to mark this important milestone, I am no less proud of each of you. It does not diminish your achievements individually or collectively. As I pre-record this message today, which is Monday, June 15th, to address the class of 2020, all of us are reeling from a roller coaster of raw emotions. Each of you and your families, our city, our country, and the entire world is still coping with the health and economic impacts of the COVID-19 world pandemic. And our hearts and minds continue to be filled with sadness, anger, frustration, and disgust at yet another brutal act against a member of the African-American community. Columbus City Schools has reaffirmed its commitment to the fight to overcome systemic racism and working for change in our schools and in our community. As superintendent, together with the Board of Education, I am committed to making meaningful, forward-thinking changes that address racism, sexism, and gender and religious-based biases inside and outside of our classrooms. Today, I ask each of you to join me by making your own commitment to be an agent of change. The commitment to change is how you decide to define it. And you should know that your definition of change will, well, change. It is what former First Lady Michelle Obama calls becoming. I believe we need immediate change and we need long-term lasting change. In fact, we must demand both. We cannot stay the same as individuals if we are to transform as a community and as a society. I close with a quote from President Barack Obama as told by Michelle Obama in her book, Becoming. She quotes the president as telling those who join him to address social change from the streets of Chicago to the halls of the White House. Do we settle for the world as it is, or do we work for the world as it should be? My call, my challenge to the class of 2020 is a commitment to the latter. Please celebrate change. Please be the change. And now from our salutatorian, Radiana Johnson. Hello, my name is Radiana Simone Johnson and I'm your class of 2020 salutatorian. I wanna start by congratulating each and every one of us. We've come a long way. I know at times you wanted to give up Maybe things at home weren't that good, so it was hard to make things at school look the opposite. Maybe you were just tired or had a moment where you didn't believe in yourself. For some of us, 
When we looked into our futures, we could see our whole lives running before our eyes like a movie reel. But for others, sometimes all we could see was the present. And when we looked into our futures, sometimes it was blank and we couldn't imagine anything. It's hard sometimes to construct your future when you're struggling to deal with your right now. But every one of us graduating today, never let those thoughts stop us. I'm sure we can all look back to a time where we knew we couldn't go any further, but we did. And those feelings are gonna just stop because we're graduating. In fact, when we step foot into the real world, those feelings would just be amplified. However, when those feelings surface, remember the tough times you overcame in high school. We didn't stop when things got tough. We got tough with them. We have grown so much as people, as young men and young women. We have lost ourselves and found ourselves again numerous times. Freshman and sophomore year, there was so much drama in the class. We were childish, and if I may be honest, we acted as such. However, as we grew, we also matured. I've seen so much growth in each and every person graduating today. I am proud of the growth in each and every one of you and the growth in myself. We've had help along the way. There were teachers that went above and beyond to help us in and outside of the classroom. Our administration team kept us safe and made sure we had the tools we needed to succeed. Our counseling team kept us sane and focused. I know I can, kept us motivated and determined. We kept each other going and very well entertained. Some of us cried together, we laughed together. We rejoiced with each other when we reached seemingly unattainable highs and grieved with each other when we reached seemingly irreversible lows. At times it wasn't easy, but nothing worth doing is. But when you work hard for something, it makes reaping the benefits that much sweeter. When I think about our class, I think of the chosen ones. Our class has made history. Me, Jamila, and Daniel are the first people in history from East High School to get the Denison Columbus Alliance Scholarship for Denison University. Our class set a new record for scholarship dollars for East High School. And one of the craziest steps in history we've taken is graduating during a global pandemic. Who would have thought this is where we'd be? I remember walking the halls with Cece, Jamila, and Shavy and talking about all the things we'd accomplished this year. We couldn't wait to treat each other on at college signing day and get ready together for prom like we did for homecoming. We were so excited to experience all the things the classes before us did, but that didn't happen. COVID-19 happened, quarantine happened, virtual graduation happened, and life as we knew it just stopped. And we weren't prepared for that. However, guys, we did it. We're here. Through all the stress, anxiety, and uncertainties, we made it, and no one can take that away from us. I implore each and every one of you to never forget how great you are for making it this far. You are elite. No other class can say they've done this, no class but us. Hold strong to this victory, for it will be the first of many for all of us. I stand here today knowing that I couldn't have done this without the help of many. As they say, it takes a village. My mother and siblings held strong with me and kept me grounded. Cheviana kept me sane and drove me insane simultaneously. My friends kept me motivated. We all have someone out there rooting for us. However, this class has suffered a lot of loss also. I wanna take a moment to appreciate the people not with us whose presence has helped us along the way. For me, it was my cousin Devin and my grandmother. Knowing they're proud of me keeps me going. To all of the brothers, sisters, grandmothers, grandfathers, cousins, mothers, fathers, and friends we may have lost, shout to the sky and tell them you did it. Things weren't easy, but we were resilient and strong. Take pride in that. In closing, I'd like to say to the class of 2020, keep going. Sometimes you're gonna take five steps back to take 10 steps forward. And most times those steps back happen really fast, but moving forward always takes a little more time and a lot more strength. No one can stop you, but you. No one can make you, but you. You are the deciding factor in your future. Prove naysayers wrong, prove doubters wrong, prove the haters wrong. Cause can nobody touch the plan God has for you and the work you put into it, but you, period. Be bold, brave, and beautiful in life. Be strong and resilient through setbacks and be yourself in any and all things. I love you, class of 2020. We made it, quarantine style. Congratulations, thank you. And now from our valedictorian, Daniel Ortiz Sapante. Good day, parents, teachers, and anyone who is watching us right now, but most importantly to the class of 2020. I would like to congratulate you at the end of this long-awaited journey. 
I would like to begin by thanking every individual who helped us in the last decade to be where we are today. It is thanks to them that we are able to celebrate together at a distance. For many of us, this is a culmination of all the hard work and perseverance, of all the trials and tribulations that we together faced as a class in the past four years. And for those of us who selected to continue our education, this is a milestone on our careers and a reminder that we will get through the next four, six, or eight years of our lives. These last few years, we have been encouraged and supported. Each one of us has kept our passions alive and have been reminded about the importance of perseverance and dedication. Every one of us has faced many obstacles in our lives who have learned from those mistakes and moved forward as more mature and capable individuals. No matter what you decide to do, enter the workforce, pursue a military career, or start a fresh in college, I want to encourage each one of you and myself to remember this moment. Amidst a global pandemic, we have been able to rise from the state of chaos and made it here. I've always hoped that our class would be the one to achieve many great things and make an impact on the world. And I am certain that we are still that class. When the world has tried to bring us down, we have exceeded ex expectations it is not a coincidence that pressure makes diamonds out of an ordinary rock, just like it is no coincidence that this happened in solar year. The good thing is that as iron sharpens iron, we sharpen each other through the friendships and stories that we have built over the last few years. No matter where the future takes you, I encourage you all to be a fool. A fool takes risks and leads themselves to be headstrong and confident. In times of self-doubt, you need to remind yourselves to carry yourself with confidence and dignity. Each and every one of us is equal, but what makes oneself superior is the ability to let go of their fears and insecurities. You will succeed when you learn to embrace yourself and your integrity. Remember where you stand, on a cliff's edge overlooking a future of limitless potential. Remember you have all the tools and remember all the people who have supported you on this journey. But it is now up to you to take that leap of faith into the unknown. Don't let the insecurity and uncertainty of times be the cause for you whom you become. And know that what's to come is better than what the past has shown us. Once again, congratulations and good luck to the East High School Class of 2020. Columbus City Schools to the class of 2020. Congratulations, it's your boy E.T. Let me just share with you three things that I think are important. All right, so I know you were disappointed. I mean, I get it. I will never forget um, my junior year, my junior year in high school. You know, I finally did driver's ed, you know, um, uh, applied for my driver's license. You know, I took the test you know, uh, did the driver's test, and voila, got my license, right? And my mom blessed me with her old car. I'll never forget, Escort. <laughs> I'll never forget, it was an 84 Escort, right? Super pumped up. Guys, in the first two weeks of me having the vehicle, guess what? I got into a car accident, right? And I remember it like yesterday. It was a hit and run. I remember I hit this old lady. I wasn't paying attention, didn't stop at the red light crashed into her, and look, I'm gonna be real with y'all. I was so nervous, I was so afraid. I actually drove the car that, I broke that axle, you could hardly drive it. I drove that sucker up the street, got out, and ran, <laughs> yup. I ran from the scene of the crime. And I'll never forget police calling my mom, I'll never forget the police coming by the house, and I lost my car, I wasn't able to do certain things, and I just remember an old wise person saying this to me. At some point, regardless of how difficult it is, how challenging it is, how hurt you are that you got your license, your first car, and you totaled it, you got to get over it. All right, come on. I'm talking to somebody today. As devastating as COVID-19 was and is and how it rocked our worlds and changed our plans, at some point, you have to put it behind you in the rearview mirror and you got to move forward. Are you hearing what I'm saying? And guess what? This is probably not going to surprise you. 
but I've had three or four cars since then. Are you hearing what I'm telling you? I've had three or four cars. So where your focus goes, your, en your energy flows. So if you're going to continue to think about, I didn't get to graduate, you know, I didn't get a prom, I didn't go on my senior trip. Like if you focus on everything that didn't happen, you know what? You're going to go on a, a spiral downward. I will never forget growing up a Detroit Lion fan and Barry Sanders, who's probably one of the greatest running backs to ever do it. I remember he wouldn't celebrate. And I would always ask, like, why is he not celebrating like some of the other football players? You know what he said? He said, my daddy told me, you will continue to score. You're going to keep getting touchdowns. You're going to keep getting a lot of yards. Like, don't act brand new. Don't act like you're not going to do it again. Guys, you're going to get opportunities to graduate college. You're going to get opportunities to graduate law school, graduate from medical school. All right, whatever. You're going to get opportunities. All right, so... Let's put this behind us. Remember, where your focus goes, your energy flows. So this leads me to number two. Look, if you got bad energy, all right, you're probably going to give 70%, 80%. When you have good energy, you're going to give 120%. And watch me. You actually attract more by being 120 than you attract in 70. All right, let me just be real. You know what I'm talking about. Some of you don't like to wash the dishes. Some of you don't like to do the trash. Some of you don't like to cut the grass. Like, you just don't like chores. Some of you, like, you don't like doing homework. And watch this. When you do things and you don't like to do those things, you don't put the same energy in. And as a result, you don't get the same outcomes, guys. If you want to blow up, if you want to make a lot of money, if you want to live in a gated community, if you want to drive whatever car you want to drive, if you want to be your own boss, if you want to be an entrepreneur, if you want to change the world, like if you got dreams, goals, and plans, you cannot waste your energy. Listen to me. You only get 24 hours in a day. You only get so many opportunities. You can't waste those opportunities because you own some negative. You can't waste those opportunities because you don't particularly care for this, or you don't particularly like, here's what my, I love it. Here's what my parents used to tell me back in the day. Listen to me, you don't have to like washing the dishes, but you're gonna wash them anyway. You don't have to like cutting the grass, but you're gonna cut it anyway. You don't like, have to like taking out the trash, but you're gonna have to take it out anyway. You don't have to like going to school, but you're gonna go anyway. If I were you, since I have to do it anyway, I would enjoy it. And so you've got to find a way when others are down and out. You've got to find a, a, a way when others don't like it. You've got to learn to enjoy the sun, but you also got to enjoy the rain. You've got to know that while you love playing in the sun, if it was only sun, if only the sunshine, then the trees wouldn't grow and the flowers wouldn't grow and we wouldn't get vegetables. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Everybody loved the sun, but can you stand the rain? And what I need you to understand is that there are blessings when the sun shines, there are blessings, oh, come on. When the rain comes down, there are blessings when it's snow. Do you know in, in certain places in the United States of America that when it actually gets cold in wintertime, do you understand that it kills certain germs, it kills certain bugs? There are blessings in what you would think is a cursing. I'll never forget, my wife got diagnosed with multiple sclerosis about five years ago. Oh, I, when I tell you one of the best things that could have happened to our marriage, best thing could have happened to our career, best thing could have happened to our family. Are you hearing what I'm telling you? Why? Because she left her job. Because we started exercising more. Because we changed our diet. Right? Because we started traveling the world together. And there were opportunities that came to us that had she not gotten sick, she would still be at her job for the next 20 years. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Your attitude determines your altitude. Are you hearing me? And so oftentimes, you think it's the circumstance or you think it's the situation that's the blessing. No, it's your perspective, how you see it. Henry Ford says, if you think you can, you're right. If you think you can't, you're right. I'm going to say it again. If you think you can, you can. If you think you can't, you can't. And so I need you to change your attitude. I need you when it's bad, I need you to see it's good. When it's good, I need you to see it's good. And when it's great, I need you to see it's great. I'll say it again. When it's great, I need you to see that it's great. When it's good, I think you need to see it as great. And when it's bad, you need to see it as great. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Your attitude actually determines the outcome. The outcome don't determine the outcome. The circumstance and the situation doesn't determine the outcome. You determine the outcome. 
Now listen to me. I got two more things for you. The next one I want to say to you is listen to me. I, I dare you to dream. I want you to dream the dream, but then I want you to work it. Listen to me. The dream works, but you got to work it. The only place where success comes before work is in the dictionary. Are you hearing me? The only place where success comes before work is in the dictionary. You can have it, but you got to work for it. And then my final one, when you become an adult, there are going to be days that you just don't feel like trying. But here's what I want you to do for me. I want you to always remember, I can, I will, and I must. In your darkest days, I need you to repeat that. I can, I will, I must. So as I leave, I know you remember the story. I know you remember the story. The, the, the little train that could. Yep. I know you remember that, that train when it looked at the train track and it looked at how that train track was. It, it said, I don't know if I could do that. I don't know it. Something said, just get on, just get on the track. Like, just give it a try. And so it got on that little train, got on the track. Chooka, 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 choo. Chooka, 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 choo. Choo. And it got on that track and it started going a little bit. And it started going a little bit. And it started, listen to me very closely in life. Sometimes you won't feel like it, but if you put your shoes on anyhow. Sometimes in life you're not going to feel like it, but if you put your pants on anyhow. Sometimes in life you're not going to feel it, but if you put your hoodie on anyhow. Sometimes in life you may not feel it, but if you put your baseball cap on anyhow. Sometimes in life you're not going to want to do it, but if you try anyhow, you're going to find that you can muster up the strength, that you can muster up every, the attitude, that you can muster up everything you need to be everything you need to be. And that doggone train got on that track, and after a while it said, I think I can. I think I can. And it got up that hill a little bit more and said, I think I can. I think I can. And as it got to the hardest part, it says, I know I can. Chooka, chooka, choo. Chooka, chooka, choo. I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. And you do, I think I can enough till you wake up and say, I know I can. I got my GED. I think I could go to college. I got my four year degree. I think I could get my master's. I got my master's degree, I know I can get my PhD. Come on, lady, say it with attitude. I know I can, I know I can. I can, I will, I must. Come on, fellas, say it, I can. Give me that bass. I can, I will, I must. Remember, you can because you have the ability to. I will because you have what it takes. I must because somebody's counting on you. It's your boy, E.T. Congratulations to the class of 2020. Make your next move your best move and make the rest of your life the best of your life. It's your boy, E.T. 2020, the world is yours. I'm going to take it. Ladies and gentlemen, I am honored to present the Columbus East High School graduating class of 2020. The graduates are adorned with traditional graduation regalia. The gowns, caps, and tassels are reverent symbols of the hard work and dedication that each graduate has endured. The gold stoles and blue and gold cords recognize students that are members of the National Honor Society. The orange cords will represent the student's participation in an activity for four years. The red and white cords recognize students in the health sciences programs for four years. The white cords presented to our College Credit Plus students. The blue cords recognize each student that has qualified to the state tournament in wrestling. Black and orange cords represent our student ambassadors. The gold medals were worn by our 2020 valedictorian and salutatorian. I hereby certify that each member of the 2020 graduating class of Columbus East High School has met the prescribed requirements of the Columbus Board of Education and the Ohio Department of Education, and that each of these graduates are fully prepared to receive the appropriate diploma. And now we will have the reading of the names of our graduates. 
Amar Abdul Salam. Kimani Agbola Swan. Jennifer Aguirre. Hal Ahmed. Delvante Bailey. Keith Baker. Tylea Betton. Yvonne Blaylock Salisbury. Nevea Bonet. Marquita Bordeaux. Gino Brody. Priest Broomfield. Marisa Brown. Mona Brown. Xavier Brown Anderson. Kevin Brunston Castleman. Kyron Burley. Ayana Carter. Titus Carter. Willie Cherry. Renaya Childs. Shanasia Connor. Shavea Courts. Damon Crosby. Justin Crutcher. Mariah Davenport. Rain Davis. Eamon Dunson. Jawan Edwards. Jacinda Evans. Kiwan Floyd. Shariah Ford. Travion Ford. Samaje Garner. Tayana Glass. Nijah Godfrey. Courtney Gordon. Aaron Grant. Rihanna Green. Jalen Hale. Shakira Hampton. Cortez Harris. Shaquille Harris. Azariah Hill. Demario Hills. Stephen Horton. Deanna Hudson Perry. Gabriela Iescas Sanchez. Jacqueline Jeffers. Shaviana Johnson. Jalen Johnson. Giovanni Johnson. Kalia Johnson. Raviana Johnson. Shania Johnson. Salad Yuma. Ajate Kennan. Jayana King. Saviana Lawrence. Diamond Long. 
Teriani Lee. Binti Malo. Kyla McDonald. Sharif McDougall. Roxy Mickens. Divinity Mills. Jalen Mitchell. Carrie Morales Ibarra. Ruby Morris. Cedric Norvet. Daniel Ortiz Cifante. Tavion Parker. Diamond Parks. Laverne Payne. Jordan Peck. Aaliyah Phillips. Malika Pickens. Deo Samuel Pierre. Dynasty Robinson. Jacob Saavedra. Jonathan Scott. Ayana Sears. Saya Sekou. Elena Cibrian Hovel. Antonio Smith. Brandia Smith. Kayla Smith. Ziana Spencer. Atiba Stevens. Jamila Tack. Sean Talbot. Tayana Tate. Brianna Templeton. Faison Thompson. Dylan Tillis. Katiuska Toral Castillo. My Sean Tyler. Hayden Boris. Brian Waterker. Tyron Washington. Jamie West. Tatiana West. Pierre White. Takaila White. Yorel Williams. Quibina Woods Laws. Artist Wolfhorn. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me once again in applauding the Columbus East High School newest alumni, the graduating class of 2020. Congratulations and best wishes on a wonderful and bright future. Thank you and congratulations, graduates. Class of 2020, it is the privilege of the Columbus Board of Education to accept the certification of your diplomas. Let us be the first to officially congratulate you. Congratulations, class of 2020. We are so proud of you. Columbus graduates, congratulations and best wishes for success. COVID y el racismo no puede detenerlos. COVID y el racismo de no pueden para nos arrepentir. COVID and racism can't stop us. Congratulations, class of 2020. 
Board member Dr. Tina Pierce here. Congratulations, class of 2020. I can't wait to see all the great things you will achieve in the future. Congratulations, class of 2020. We love you and all the best. Harper DM, seize the day. Felicidades. Congratulations, class of 2020 seniors.
see the sky.